Construction on the state's third medical school is now underway in North Haven. And Quinnipiac University's new med school will focus on one particular area of medicine that is now facing a shortage. News 8's Allie Reed joins us now with all the details. Allie. Good evening, Keith and Sonia. The school's focus, the emphasis of the medical school, is primarily on primary care, which is needed since the number of people over age 65 will grow substantially over the next decade, increasing demand for generalists. But at the same time, experts say there will be nearly 30% fewer primary care doctors. Quinnipiac is hoping to close that gap. While the Frank H. Netter School of Medicine at Quinnipiac University doesn't look like much now, much like its namesake, a renowned medical illustrator, school officials view it as a palette for change. Where we will train medical students with nursing students, with physician assistant students, because health care more and more is a team activity. And more and more in need of primary care doctors. If you look at the needs of Connecticut and, in fact, the country, there is a uh, physician shortage in general, but a severe shortage for primary care physicians. That's where this medical school, which will be the third medical school in the state, sees its role in the future of health care. Its focus will be on training medical students to enter the primary care field. Right now, if you look at the national statistics, about 15 percent of current medical students are planning a career in primary care. We hope that of 50 percent or more of our graduates will go into primary care. Studies in the medical field indicate lower salaries and less control over work hours in primary care practice play a role in steering med students to specialized fields. Yet Dr. Keppen says there is no better time to grow the field of primary care than now, especially since the Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act, which supports more preventative health care. Absolutely. You've got the uh, uninsured who will have insurance. Uh, estimates are 30 plus million. You also have the baby boomers that are entering the Medicare system and there you've got 80 million plus. So there's a huge influx, will be a huge influx of patients into the health care system. He says prospective students interested in primary care will be given preference in the admissions process. The medical school will start recruiting students in the fall. The dean says they have 60 spots to fill. Eventually, they plan to have 125 students in each class. The first class will start in August 2013. And Keith and Sonia, the principal clinical partner of St. Vincent's Medical Center in Bridgeport, so the school will have a large presence in Bridgeport.